Number six is ethical and equity concerns. Before robotaxis, there was ride hailing, and ride hailing threatened to put taxi companies out of business, and they made promises about how the world would be such a better place with ride hailing, uh, and they give disappointing results. Why do we expect robotaxis will turn out any differently than ride hailing? Their business model is basically a cheaper ride hail, and they make promises that they will be different because they don't have a human driver to discriminate against potential passengers and things like this. But the same issues we had with ride hail are coming back with RoboTaxi. There are concerns about labor with drivers being displaced. There's questions about whether the disabled community really will have the access that they've been promised. Uh, there's the issue that cheap taxis undermine public transit and can reduce the overall quality of transit in a city. And there's the issue of municipal preemption that the cities for ride hail and also for robotaxis have no control over issues that may arise. That's done at the state level, and the state regulators have been pretty permissive with letting these companies do whatever they want. Beyond that, for robotaxis in particular, they're ethical and related concerns. For example, are you imposing testing risk upon vulnerable populations? Is your long-term aspirational safety really incurring short-term risk, and is that okay? Additionally, right now, there's no requirement for independent safety oversight on a technical basis. Is that okay, or does that need to change?